She empowers students to transform their inner and outer lives through writing. It's beautiful, so beautiful what she's doing with that. Um, through every support and encouragement, her Long Beach, California students uh, began the 2007 movie Freedom Rider starring Hillary Wank, Swank, of course. But Erin is the real hero. Hillary's cool and all that, but no, this, this is the real deal we got right here. So she has been selected as a, a 2012 hidden hero for her work as an educational activist at the Freedom Writers Foundation, the organization she founded to extend the lesson from the Freedom Writers Diary to classrooms nationally. So, um, 250,000 students. That's impressive. That's impressive. Even New York City has a challenge doing that. It's a lot more. But what, um, what was the thing that was most fun for you? Because I know you had a lot of tough times. I'm going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the most fun is when the light bulb goes off. Um, I had 150 kids who walked in my class in the ninth grade who didn't read, who didn't write, and they hated one another, and they really hated me. And the fact that all these years later, they are graduates, and they are um, folks who are going on for PhDs and are educators. That's been the fun, is, is seeing that transformation. To be quite truthful, to be in the presence of, of John Lewis, um, humbly, our name was Freedom Writers in honor of you as a freedom writer. And as I told my students, those are really big shoes to fill because you did something. You walked across that bridge in Selma, and you rode those buses, and you stood on the steps the Lincoln Memorial right next to Martin Luther King. And so to be in the presence of you with my students' honor and respect and continue to pay it forward, that is the greatest moment, I think, in my life. Um, I know that you encountered a lot of pushback from the bureaucracy. Are you, what's your experience with that element of what you're doing now? Um, that's a great question. I, I think that having just got through a lesson, um, educators have really been vilified. <laughs> um, what has been hard, and I know there's a lot of politicians in the audience, is every educator. They're states people. Well, um, our our goal is to to really celebrate teachers and, and not to politicize. And so, for folks like John Lewis. Um, in an age of politics, a lot of educators are treated like an emotional pinata, and they're vilified. And I am a public school purist. I believe the greatest way we are ever going to equalize an unfair playing field is in our public schools in this country. And so when we can stop teaching to test and teaching to those beautiful kids, and that's the most important thing. And so for me, it's about giving a voice to teachers, um, showing the passion in this profession, and honoring those kids by giving them a voice. Thank you, you're awesome. Thank you. And we're about Freedom Riders Foundation. As, a, as an ordinary teacher, this experience has been extraordinary. Um, John Lewis is the reason that my students and I chose the name Freedom Riders in honor of that very noble 60s movement. And so to be in his presence and to be just standing on the shoulders of Goodman Schwimmer Cheney is just incredible. And as an English teacher, I use so many incredible lessons of history to get my students to have a voice and to stand up for themselves and to be heard. And so just to be in the presence of these great historians and activists and people who really have fought for social justice is completely surreal.